Hey guys, so I decided to film a new video. Sorry for bad lighting. It's like 11 o'clock at night. Actually, 10. <laughs> but um, this video is going to be 10 tips for auditioning for Color or Winter Guard. Um, auditions for both of them will pretty much be the same. Um, I'm not an expert, <laughs> but I do know a thing or two. So um, I have my notes right here so I'll be looking down and then up so um, let's get started so tip number one is to stretch um, you're gonna be doing a lot of physical and um, emotionally draining work uh, you're gonna be dancing you're gonna be doing all this stuff that's new to you unless you're a dancer um, so stretching before and after practice will probably give you the best um, outcome I suggest you stretch in the morning Stretch before practice or auditions, and then stretch once at night when you get home, so you don't wake up with a cramp in the middle of the night. Um, tip number two is to point your feet. For the love of God, do not flex your foot. If you don't know what pointing is, it's like say this is your foot, or well, this is naturally your foot. Don't like if you do a jump, don't jump like this. Jump like this. Um, it is one of the key things that the instructor is looking for. Um, a lot of the work you'll be doing is um, toe down or pointed, pointed foot, passes, sautés, sachets, um, across the floors, any kind of work they give you um, will be pointed feet, unless told otherwise. Step number three: be a sponge. Um, what means? What that means is you're going to be given a lot. Of instructions best thing you can do is just take it all in and uh, do what do everything that you're told to the detail um, I know I'm sounding like I'm very like precise but that's what they're looking for um, take everything in don't leave a single detail out don't daydream and don't do any of that just take everything and give it for what it is um, tip, uh, tip number four is do not be shy a lot of the shy kids are not the first ones chosen because, I mean, you're going to be doing a lot outside of your comfort zone. Um, it's something that you probably have never done before. You know, you're you're being asked to perform, essentially. So the best thing you could do is to, you know, lift up, smile, breathe, um, talk, ask questions, da 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 Tip number five is practice, 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 practice. Um, normally auditions are three to four days long, um, so every night you want to go back over what you've learned before the auditions. Maybe get a vet and ask them to watch you or help you with anything you have. Um, you know, if they, like, if they allow you to take a flag home that night, take it home and drop spin, pull hit, peggy spin money hand toss whatever they teach you practice that so you have it down even you can even spin a broom um there's really like endless possibilities tip number six is be able to keep a beat because you'll essentially be counting the rhythms and walking and dancing to it <clears throat> so the best thing i can tell you to do before auditions is listen to some music and try to find the beat of it um we'll be doing that for like across the floors and dancing. Uh, tip number seven is dance and perform. This is a huge one. Um, you know, in Color Guard and Winter Guard, you're performing to an audience and a panel of judges. You'll be asked to dance, to march, to spin, to smile, to whatever. Um, so do whatever you think is right and then ask a vet to help you or watch you or what have you. Um, personally, it'd be best to kind of watch some winter guards or color guards on YouTube before auditions or whatever, but that's enough for that. Tip number eight is to be confident. Um, a lot of the uh, young kids I've taught have given me the, I can't do this, this is too hard, I don't think I'm gonna do it. That is one thing an instructor will automatically not want you for, does that make sense? Um, if you're show to not being confident, they're going to think that you never will be. And they want you 
to think, oh, this is easy, I can do this, this is really no, no big deal at all. Which is honestly probably the best outcome for it. Tip number nine <laughs> is um, don't forget to smile or portray the emotion of the routine. Um, normally you'll be giving a song um, and a dance to audition with. Like for my Winter Guard audition this past winter, it was uh, Lana Del Rey, Young and Beautiful. That is sort of a sadder song, so for our, our, for our audition, we had to be sad. Um, say you're doing Walking on Sunshine, um, you're gonna smile, of course. If you're doing an angry song, be angry. Uh, that's, what that's a huge thing they're looking for, is to see if you can pull off and perform an emotion. Um, nine times out of ten, a director or an instructor will pick out a sad or a happy song. They're the easiest two emotions to um, portray or fake. Um, a lot of times it'll be happy. Um, and step, our tip number 10 is to ask questions and make sure you have everything. The more questions you ask is the more that you show the instructor that you're trying and that you actually care. So that's a huge one. So, um, yeah, I hope this has really helped all of you guys. And, um, good luck at Color Girl Auditions and good luck in the future. I hope you guys love it. And, um, leave any questions or concerns that you have below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!